and I love spending money apparently. This freaking her! I'm gonna kill it! <gasps> everybody welcome to my bed we are throwing it back old school YouTube style sitting on my bed doing an old school YouTube video which is my black Friday haul I love making these videos I love watching black Friday hauls I haven't seen one in a very long time and I've missed filming slash watching them so today I'm just gonna share with you guys the stuff that I picked up on black Friday I'm feeling very 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 old school Remy right now the pups are here we're hanging out okay wait where'd you go Oh there, do you see the lens? If you guys wanna watch the vlog of my Black Friday shopping, go check out my vlog channel. I am also doing Vlogmas this year, and I am wearing my merch, by the way, which it sold out before I could even tell this channel, so I apologize. We are working on sourcing new sweatshirts and things to make more for you guys. We do have a hat that has the same saying on it, as well as a t-shirt that's available right now still at shopramycrease.com, so go check it out. I'll keep you guys updated with the updates, and I may or may not be having some Vlogmas merch coming soon, so look out for that. On that note, let's get started and get into this haul because I got a lot of stuff. First up, I see this PacSun bag on the floor. I don't really ever shop at PacSun unless it's Black Friday, but they had some really good stuff this year. So the sale was buy one, get one half off of everything in the store. So first up, I got a couple hats. I saw these and I thought of Lauren, AKA Lord DIY, and I wanted us to match, so I got us both this adorable little Care Bear hat that says, let's take a trip, and it's got Care Bears in a car. She loves this style of hat, and I thought she would like the cute little like kawaii design. Then I got Cal and I matching jackets because if it was buy one, get one half off, I had to get the one half off because logic. And I love spending money apparently. So I already gave Cal his, but these are perfect. We're going on a bunch of winter trips this year. So I figured it'd be cute to get some cute matching Instagram pictures. And this is very similar to a jacket that I've been dying for, but it's been sold out everywhere. So I was very excited to find it and also on sale. This is from North Face, it's like a Sherpa, it's a men's jacket, so it's gonna be super big and oversized, which we love and comfy and cozy. It's a quarter zip, it's got like a mixture of Sherpa and then this like waterproof material. Also, it's North Face, so it's definitely expensive, but the quality is really, really good. So yeah, check out my Instagram, there's gonna be a lot of cute couple pics coming soon. Okay, while we're in the realm of winter clothing, I grabbed a few things from Aritzia. I've decided my new style during the winter is going to be hoodies under puffer jackets. I know that it's very basic, but I love the look of it. And I love the look of any sort of hoodie under any jacket, like a denim jacket, a puffer jacket, a trench coat, whatever it is. It just looks really like cool and casual, but also dressed up. And believe it or not, I don't have any plain hoodies. So from Aritzia, because they are really nice quality, I grabbed a plain white hoodie as well as a plain black hoodie. So I have a lot of ideas of things that I can wear these with, leggings, jeans, sweatpants, whatever, underneath a puffer. And speaking of puffers, I got this one right here, which if you can't tell, I mean I made the color my merch, so obviously I love it. This like pretty muted, it's a pretty much exact match. I love blue if you can't tell. This is the Super Puff from Aritzia. This was not on sale at all, which was very sad, but it is a really great investment piece. And as I said, I'm going on a lot of winter trips. I'm going to Minnesota to visit Cal's family. I'm going skiing and all these sorts of things. And it gets cold over there, so I'm gonna need to keep warm. What I loved especially about this is the like finish on it. It's a kind of like glossy finish so I got this one right here and I believe I got this in a large yes I can't wait to wear it all winter long Next, I went to Forever 21, which this is another store that I don't often go to unless it's Black Friday, and then I usually find a few pieces there. This year, I found just a couple things, but I'm very excited about them, and I know I'm gonna wear them a lot. I got a couple little workout tanks. These were on sale for $12.99, and then I think everything was 30% off in the store, so good deal. I figured I would wear this underneath shirts as like a bralette, or as a workout top, or as a bra itself. It's just like a really pretty olive green little crop top, and then I also found one in white so I just know I'll reach for these all the time because I hate wearing bras I'm wearing one right now and it's digging into my stomach and I am not happy about it oh my god not me saying that I don't have black hoodies and then I bought two I picked up this one because it was on sale for $19 and then 30% off which great deal it's a really soft knit material you can tell it's way thinner than the Aritzia one but I figured this would be perfect for layering this winter, if I wanna wear it under like my jackets for skiing and like as a thermal kind of top, or I can wear it on its own because it's currently 85 degrees outside in LA. 
I also went to Zara and I got many a cute things. So if you did not know, I have a podcast with my best friend Alicia. It's called Pretty Basic. We now record the podcast on film and we post it up on YouTube and basically I've just been trying to find outfits that I can still look stylish in but also sit on a couch and talk on camera for a full hour and not look super uncomfortable. So I think I've found my match and that is matching sets. I look cute, but I'm also very comfortable and it's also decently flattering on camera. With that being said, I picked up this little knit set from Zara. I thought it looked very chic and it was decently inexpensive. It was $35 for these sweatpants and they're very, very, very nice quality. They're knit, they're really soft. I love the cream color. Cream just looks rich to me. So I got the knit sweats and then the matching top is actually like a little button up like this and it has a little collar so you can open it up if you want or you can leave it closed and look really chic. If you can see, it's super soft and ribbed material. So I really liked this set and I got it in the cream color and I can never have too many pairs of black sweatpants. So I also picked up the sweatpants but in black and the knit just makes it look so much nicer and also just so much thicker so I grabbed these to also wear all winter long I also picked up this little overcoat jacket thing it's a really nice wool material it's like a blue gray color again I love the blues I love the silver buttons and I figured this would be perfect for layering it'd be cute with like some leggings and like a cute little bodysuit or something underneath just very simple and then last but not least from Zara as I said I am going to the mountains a lot this year and you know my head gets a little cold so did I need these absolutely hold on I'm pulling the tag off chocolate brown fuzzy earmuffs I really do think they're so cute and I'm looking forward to like dressing these up so much with some boots and some cute winter clothes. And we love the chocolate brown. <laughs> Stop it. Before I was rudely interrupted, so cute. And I'm gonna wear these a lot. I went to the store called Typo, which is the cotton on sister store and they have like stationery and knickknacks. And if you know me, I love a knickknack. So first up, I got this little bag that says busy making a difference. I just thought it was cute and I'm gonna bring it to the grocery store and use it as a grocery bag. Also, I believe everything in the store was like 30% off or something really, really good. I was really big into sketching and I love to like freehand draw and just kind of try and be creative sometimes. So I thought this would be really fun. And they're really nice quality, so I just got two sketchbooks. And then to go with the sketchbooks, I also grabbed these Artist Dual Nib markers, as well as a notebook. I love writing everything in my brain down, otherwise I completely forget. And I thought this was so funny. It says, I have a spicy idea. Why don't we all just be nice to each other with a little puppy on it? I'm very excited to write in this. I love to plan my videos out. I love to, if anything comes into my brain, I have to write it down. I also got these watercolor pencils because I haven't played with watercolor pencils since I was a child and I thought these would be very fun. I got a few random greeting cards. I'm actually going to go to a wedding as soon as I finish this video. So I got a wedding card and then I'm just gonna keep these cards on hand for like birthdays and things. I got some highlighters. I got Cal these socks that say get lost, I'm gaming because I thought he would laugh at those. And I also got Cal these socks. So many good deals I couldn't pass up. They're a box of beer socks. Love it. <gasps> oh my God, I went to this store that had all the most amazing knickknacks of my life. There were squishmallows, those little like pop toys, and I had so much fun. I first up got the mushroom squishmallow, which I bought this for Lauren for her birthday off some like crazy retail site and they upcharge like crazy. So when I found this, I was so excited. Everybody meet. Malcolm the marshmallow, he's gonna sit right here the rest of the video. And then also I got myself three of these, which are surprise squishmallows, and I'm gonna open them up right now. I thought that'd be fun. <laughs> We've got our three squish. Okay, here we go. One. <gasps> oh, it's a little tie-dye bear. Momo's gonna like live for these, so that's why I bought them too. They're like perfect Momo-sized toys. We've got, <gasps> shut up. He's a little crab. <laughs> okay, last one. <gasps> the little narwhal, so cute. Malcolm, go back in your spot. I went to Nordstrom. I'm gonna go faster because I gotta go through these things because I have to go to the wedding. Speaking of the wedding, I picked up some Spanx for today because I need to be sucked in under my dress. I also picked up this thing here, which is a firm control waist cincher. I am shaped like a damn refrigerator, so if this helps me get a little 
action. We will see. It doesn't look comfortable. As long as I can pee in it, though, I should be fine. Speaking of the wedding, I also at Macy's picked up Cal each of these ties. I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear mint or coral and he's just gonna match whatever I wear, so good luck to him. And then last but not least for Nordstrom, I picked up these candles. This has quickly become my favorite, favorite brand. Don't get me wrong, I love a Bath & Body Works candle and you will see that very soon. But I've also been loving this brand so much. It's a small business called Mala. I have their brown sugar, milk and brown sugar one, I think that's what it's called. It smells like a dessert, it smells amazing. And then I picked up also these two. These are called Cabin Fever. And this has cypress, evergreen, and moss. They're definitely a little pricier, but they are just better for you in general, better for your pets in general. And also, again, as I said, a small business, so we love to support. They come in these really pretty little tins, and then they actually have like a little wood wick instead of like a regular wick. Oh, and this just smells like absolute Christmas. So I'm gonna burn through these like crazy. I got two of the same just because I was so excited. And I also ordered more to share with you guys during Vlogmas. So I'm just, I'm very into the candles lately. Next up, very random, we went to Build-A-Bear and I indeed built a bear or rather, a toothless. Everybody meet toothless. I don't know why we went to build a bear, but honestly, it was really fun. If you've never seen How to Train Your Dragon, watch How to Train Your Dragon. This is the cutest build a bear I've ever seen in my life. He's so cute and he's got little wings and everything. And it was a wonderful activity to do with my friends. I'm realizing how childish I look like with my squishmallows and my build a bears, and I love it. Okay, last few stores. We're gonna go. I went to Sephora and I grabbed a few things. <coughs> I held myself back quite a bit because I went pretty crazy during the VIB sale where you could get a discount. So today I just grabbed a couple things. This is the Hollywood Beauty Light Wand from Charlotte Tilbury. It's in the shade Spotlight. You guys have probably seen these. I'm almost done with mine, so that's why I bought a new one. I'm currently wearing it on my cheekbones right now. They're these fun little like highlighting wands that are amazing. Also, this has quickly become my favorite brow pencil, so I got another one. It's the Kosas Brow Pop in brown black, also wearing it on my brows currently. I saw a girl on TikTok show this and I needed to try. It's the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation and Skin Care. So I got this to try. It looks really, really nice. It's just like a foundation serum, but the coverage looks really good. The finish looks really nice, and I love trying foundations. And then last but not least, I've been searching everywhere for this. This is the NARS Laguna Lip Balm. It's a Sephora exclusive, and I looked for actually like months. I've never tried it on. I just really wanted it. Oh, pretty, I love it, mmm. I went to Free People Movement and I picked up a few random things there. First off, I got this adorable pink Sherpa jacket. I love, love, love the color. It's this like electric magenta Sherpa jacket. I tried it on in the store, fell in love. I feel like it's the perfect jacket to wear during the cold when I'm like traveling and things like that. It's really comfy and cozy. And then I also just picked up some of my favorite tops that I wear religiously for pajamas or just lounging around the house, running errands, whatever it is. They let the girls fly free, but also still provide some support. So that's why I love these so much. They're just these little seamless tanks. So I got the purple, I got the mint, I got a new white and black because I wear mine so much. And then I also got this little electric blue one like this. Last, but definitely not least, we went to Bath and Body Works. Please forgive me, my bag is breaking. We've got all the stuff here, okay. So the Bath and Body Works deal is buy three, get three free on anything in the store. That's candles, that's soaps, that's wallflowers, whatever it is you want. So I utilize that to my benefit, oh my God. First up, I got hand soaps. I just got a bunch of wintry themed ones. We got. Of course, if you know me, winter candy apple, always. Winter, this one is fresh sparkling snow. Winter citrus wreath, and then I have one already in my kitchen right now. I got a couple of the winter candy apple hand sanitizers. I put these all throughout my house because it's important to always be sanitizing as we know. I got a bunch of wallflowers. We have peppermint sugar cookie. We have under the Christmas tree, tis the season. There is a bunch of winter candy apple on the floor. For the little candles, I got a little tree farm and a little fresh balsam. I'm getting much more into like the tree Christmassy scent. I used to only do winter candy apple, which we still love, but I like a little bit more of like the homey scents and not so sweet now. I don't know what happened to me. And have no fear, I also got six of the big candles. Again, it was buy three, get three free. So first of all, a large of the fresh balsam. This just actually smells like a Christmas tree and is really nice. I got a fake tree this year, so I would love to have like the real Christmas tree scent throughout the house. 
Of course, I got two large winter candy apples, which I'm going to burn through absolutely in a week or so. Oh my God, I love it. I love it so much. And then lastly, I found this candle, which I just loved the packaging. I thought it was so pretty and a little bit more chic than the normal, you know, Bath and Body Works ones, which are still cute, but this is so much prettier. And I loved the scent. This is balsam and firewood, so it's very homey. Mm, it's like not too strong, and I think this is perfect to have throughout the house if I wanna burn like multiple at one time, because sometimes it can get a little bit much with like five of like winter candy apple or like five really strong scents at one time. This one is really nice and a little bit more muted. So I got three of these ones because the packaging also was just so pretty and I thought it would make beautiful decor around the house. All right guys, that about wraps up my Black Friday haul for 2021. I know I went pretty crazy, but I held myself back last year. I'm ready to go this year. I am prepped for winter. My house is gonna smell so good. Do not forget to check out shopromecruise.com and I will see you guys in the next one. Also check out my Vlogmas over on Rem Life. Bye. Mwah.